Hello everyone, welcome back to Eat Sleep Brief. This week I'm gonna be doing a video on what I've learned with running skimmers uh, pretty much since I've started reefing, which has been what, two and a half years. I've learned some pretty cool tricks again. This has been just stuff I've picked up. Maybe you've heard it along the way. I'm also in talking to people, so I'm gonna really try my best to show you guys how I like to tune my skimmer and get really the best skimming out of it. But before we get to that, as you can see the tank, my God, I mean, I got, I'm super, super, super happy with it. Look at that. The only algae, and it's crazy, the algae sticks out like a sore thumb. The only algae in the tank is one, two, three, uh, three and a half spots. Every other part of the rock is clean. The coral line is right under it coming up. You guys remember that rock? How, I mean, that thing was really bad. But luckily, as you can see now, there's not a speck of algae. One thing that's really interesting though, I've been noticing before the the um, the snails wouldn't even touch it. For whatever reason, something happened to the algae. I don't know if it matured more or grabbed more. Some, I can't explain what happened. All I know is that now, more than ever, all the snails, is, look, look how many snails are up there. One, two, three, four, five of them. All right there, look at that. It's a little bit difficult to see, but they're there. Look at this guy. I don't know if I can zoom in a little bit on him. You can see the left side where he's already been. He's really just cleaned it up. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know what exactly that Continuum product did that somehow made it more appetizing for the, um, the snail. Again, I'm not complaining. I'm just really happy. That stuff, I mean, more than ever, it's really, really going on the right track. I also want to let you guys know probably next week. Yeah, I think in next week's video, we're going to be having a really big announcement. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably know what I'm talking about. I briefly talked about it on a live stream I had yesterday. I think either next week or the following week, either one or two more videos, I'll make that announcement. But you guys are in for really. Now the whole purpose of this week's video is going to be again showing you guys what I've learned on running my skimmer. Stuff I've picked up on my own, a lot of it, uh, you know, I've read in talking to people. It's just a huge collaboration of all those things and what I've learned to really adjust and get the best skim mate out of your skimmer. Now we're gonna be pretty much making two adjustments today. Again, this is this skimmer here is the Delua uh, Great White. It's not the DC version, although I think they're ready uh, release a DC version. I haven't been able to get my hands on it. The main two forms of adjustment you have on an AC skimmer is going to be your gate opener, which adjusts the flow uh, going into the skimmer, the water flow that is, and then your your air silencer. So what that does, that actually adjusts uh, the air in the skimmer. Now for you guys that have DC, I've never owned a DC, so it's going to be very difficult for me to try and give you guys input on how adjusting it works. But from my understanding on a DC one, you kind of really don't adjust the gate as much. The, uh, the flow in essence becomes the, um, the control of the gate. It, I wouldn't say it replaces it, but it uh, essentially achieve, achieves the same thing. Now the biggest thing you do adjust on one of those, the DC, is allowing more contact time uh, also through the air. So again, not having known one, it's gonna be very difficult for me to you know, let you guys know how to run one of those. So this is for you guys out there that have a skimmer, that has a gate, and then an air control. I'm also very aware that a lot of people out there do not have a way of controlling air. You have a silencer, but you really have no adjustment. So you're probably watching this video and saying, how the heck can I adjust air? And can I even adjust air? And the answer is yes, you're gonna have to get some sort of pinch valve. So in essence, pretty much I've seen every skim, I mean, I've seen tons of skimmers. Uh, most of them that don't have an air adjustment, they still have the silencer and they almost always have a silicone tubing going from uh, the Venturi, which you can't see, it's on the other side, which is where the air is pushed in, uh, back to the silencer. So what you wanna do, you wanna get some sort of clamp, but a clamp that you can adjust it I'm gonna do my best. I currently don't know of one, but I'm gonna do my best. If I do find something, I'll put it down in the description uh, for you guys to look at. So I'll do my research, see what I can find. Uh, but yeah, in essence, all you're doing is really restricting the flow. Uh, there's other ways you can also do it if you wanna get creative, but I'll do my best to see what I can find and just put it down in the link. I will tell you one 
you guys one thing i love each and every one of you viewers so much and the reason i say that this video is really going to screw up uh, it's not going to screw up my skimmer but it's going to screw up the adjustment the way i have it right now it skims like an animal in about a week and a half this thing will get some crazy gunk out of here but like i said i love you guys so much that i'm willing to mess up my tune because yeah retuning this thing is probably going to take me about a week and a half uh, it you know every day i'll come back i'll make a minor adjustment right now i have it tweaked great but again i think for you guys i'd be willing to do anything so you know what the heck with it this skimmer here again i probably won't get it running like this once i start messing with it for about another week and a half just because it takes a little bit of trial and error and it's going to take you also trial and error don't expect that the first adjustment you do for the skimmer uh, you know to start running great i highly recommend when you're tuning a skimmer don't ask me why but try and do it towards the end of the day or when your lights are off. I noticed that's when the skimmer really comes to life. You'd probably notice during the day, it's not picking up much skimming, at least in my scenarios. I've always noticed at night is when the skimmers tend to really uh, pick up a lot more stuff. Again, I don't know the explanation, it's just what I've noticed. So any adjustments you're doing, try and make them more towards the end of the day or the night because I've noticed uh, from personal experience, that's actually when I'm able to tune it a lot better. Starting now, I'm gonna, or before we get to that, this is what your skimmer, uh, what you want it to look like. You want your smaller bubbles to be barely breaking at the base of the cup right here. So you can see all the bubbles are actually, they're a little bit lower. They're starting to break right about there. But ideally, you know, anywhere from there to here is, is where you want these bubbles, the smaller bubbles to be. I notice a lot of people will have these bubbles. It's gonna be difficult to see, but a lot of people have them down here. And you tend to notice from here, pretty much all this section here tends to get filled with gunk. The gunk shouldn't start filling up in your cup till just not the outside part, but the inside part till about here. That's how you know when you have your skimmer tuned correctly and it's actually moving uh, the bad proteins out of, out of the um, out of the tank. Because a lot of scenarios I notice people make this adjustment way too low, and on the inside it starts really like gunking up from the bottom there. So all the bad stuff you're trying to get out, guess what? It's staying stuck in the inner wall. And some of it, yes, will make it out, but I feel you're not using your skimmer as efficiently as possible. On this one here, again, we do have a gate control. We have a plus and a minus, so it makes it very easy to adjust. You can see the gate, the, or maybe you could. Yeah, it's very difficult to see, but the gate is right there on the bottom. It, can see the little crack it has um, that opens and closes by simply adjusting this and again any skimmer you have it's the same exact concept it may just be done a little bit differently so when you are tuning a skimmer i first recommend that you open the air quite a bit you know you i feel for a lot of skimmers you don't want too much air passing through it so i always tend to uh, close it just a hair and then what i'll do with this one here I'll raise the main water level of the skimmer higher. But you'll also notice how both of these kind of play together because I'm also able to raise the water level here. Although on this one here, it's gonna raise more the bubble level. You'll see in a little bit what I'm talking about. For instance, let's say if this break, you know, you could see that break here. Let's say that was coming up a little bit too high. So a way I could do that is obviously open the gate and watch what's gonna happen right now. You see that? Look at it. I barely moved it. I barely, barely, barely did any movement. But what, if you look at the gate, it's pretty hard to see, but yeah, you're not gonna see it. It's just way, oh, there, you can kind of see it there. So yeah, you can kind of get an idea there. And that was that was not even touching the air. That was 100% just touching the gate. And you can see the water level just dropped all the way. So ideally speaking, we're gonna let it come up a little bit. Ideally speaking, you wanna make the adjustment on this guy here to where your, your main, you can see the bubbles start coming up, to the main uh, bubble break, I'm gonna call it, is kind of towards about here. You can later fine tune it with the air, and I'm gonna show you how as soon as it gets back to where it was. So you can slowly see the bubbles start coming up. You see that? And then watch, what we're gonna do, we're gonna, this adjustment is very fine. I've noticed not only with this, but with any skimmer, the air adjustment is super, super fine. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna close this, which is gonna restrict the air coming to the skimmer and watch what's gonna happen. You're gonna notice it's gonna rise, but you're gonna notice the bubble rise more than anything. Not essentially the water level, just the bubbles themselves. Watch this, okay? And always when you're doing these adjustments, give the skimmer 
about 10, 15 seconds to make a change. You notice how the bubbles are breaking up a lot bigger too? Look at that, do you see that? You notice how just by me closing the air, we're getting the bubbles breaking up a lot bigger on the bottom of the neck. Typically, you don't want that. You want these bubbles to raise up and be as small as possible and the break not to start happening to this section of the cup. So let me, I'm gonna close the air a little bit more. There it goes, look at that. You see that? And all I did was adjust the air. Look at that. But you see that there? The bubbles are, oh shoot, I gotta open it up. The bubbles are way too fine breaking on the neck. The break is actually happening here, which is not what we want. Now, we can actually leave the air where it is and bring down the water level. So by doing that, uh, I believe it's this, yeah, it's this way. So the water level is gonna come down right now. There you go, you see that? But now again, the bubbles are breaking way too big here and it's actually breaking not only too big here, but it's really, really low in the neck, right? There is what I would say, 90% of people that I've seen run skimmers run them like so, like this. The break is happening way too low, which is filling the inner part of the cup here with gunk. And instead of you exporting it, you know, it's all just filling there, overflowing them, falling back down and not making it to the outside of the cup. So what you want to do, let's say you were tuning your skimmer for the first time. I'd open the air all the way. Okay, You're, you can see the little needle there. So open it all the way, start closing it till you slightly restrict it right about there. And we're going to wait for a little bit. Okay, we're going to start closing the gate. Okay, closing the gate. And give it about 10, 15 so you can see it's already coming up. Yeah, so that's where probably your skimmer right now at home, this is how it's operating, right? And again, it probably works. There's nothing wrong with it. You could also get away with it, but I just feel you're not using your skimmer as efficiently as possible. So what we're gonna do now is raise the water just a hair more, and then we're gonna come in and start tuning it with the air. So think of this as your, your big adjustment for the water level, and this, think of it as your fine tune bubble adjustment. I think that break, it's a little bit too high for my opinion. So we're going to open it and then we're going to come back on the air. And again, when you're doing these adjustments, notice that it's going to take a while for it to settle. So it's kind of difficult for me to show you guys on video uh, only because when I do, when I'm doing this off camera, I'll literally come back an hour later and then make another adjustment, come back an hour later and make another adjustment. So we're coming back. There we go. There we go. You see the bubbles getting finer. That's what we're looking for. But even then, there, there we go. You see that? That's what we're looking for right there. Right there. They're a little bit too big right now. Actually, no, there it goes, there it goes. But now what's happening, actually, I may get away with this. I may be able to get away with it. Oh, shoot, I mean, nailed it. Yeah, that's what the bubbles gotta look like right there. So they're really small and you really start seeing the break of the bubble start happening right here. Right here is gonna be your sweet spot. So this is where you want all the breaking, in my opinion, to be happening on your skimmer. You don't want it here. You for sure as heck don't want it down there because again, you're not allowing the skimmer to really take out the nutrients as it should. Right now, you want the bubbles to be looking a little bit like that. You know, they're transferring from micro to medium, I would call them, and then from medium to large happening right here. So if I were to mess with this skimmer a little bit more, I would actually open this to bring the water, because I like the bubbles. So I'm gonna bring this just a hair down, because it's they're breaking a little bit too high for my liking. But the bubble mixture is perfect right now, so I'm not, I'm not even gonna mess with the air. Okay, maybe a bigger change. Let's try that. All right, so right about there, you can see I went a little bit too far because now the break is starting to happen here. You see that where the transfer is? So very easily, all you gotta do is just slightly tune it back this way and get it to back to where it was at the very beginning. So guys, I, you know, I, I don't know if that was a little bit confusing. I, I hope I was able to shed some light um, on the skimmer. And again, this is just stuff I've learned in running them, um, especially this great white uh, skimmer. This thing is a beast, I'm sure. Uh, if you guys that have researched, you can probably you know read the same. But going back, I really think the takeaways for this is going to be: think of this as your main water level adjustment in the skimmer, and think of the air 
as your bubble adjustment in the skimmer. Although you can have this one also control the water level, uh, but yeah, that's, that's what I would really incorporate. So next time you are tuning the skimmer, try to tune them like I showed you here. Again, the most important things, water level, uh, size of bubbles, get the bubble break to happen right, right here. It's a little bit too low. You see that? It's happening right here. So over here, let me adjust it. Get your bubble break to be happening right about here in the sweet spot. And again, when you are doing these adjustments, I highly recommend you do them at night because again, this is, it may just be my tank, but I notice at night is when it really, uh, really wakes up. So guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully it wasn't, uh, you know, I didn't confuse you guys. I just really wanted to share something I've learned in running my skimmer. And maybe it can help you uh, run your skimmer because I know every time I post pictures of my, uh, my skimmate, everybody's like, oh, what the heck are you doing? What skimmer is that? Uh, and I tell people, yes, you know, although this skimmer is a really good skimmer, um, you can probably get your skimmer to get really good skimmate, but it's very important that you understand the adjustments on it. And you, guys, if you have a skimmer that doesn't have uh, air control, I highly recommend you get it and have it just be pinching the silicone itself. I'm gonna do my best to see if I can find one um, online. If I can, I'll put it down in the description for you guys to, to uh, to check out. So guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Uh, if you guys like today's video, please give me a like. Uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I mean, wait, before we get to that, guys, we just reached over 20,000 subscribers last week. I can't thank each and every one of you guys enough. I mean, I've been doing these videos for what, two years now? I would have never imagined it, uh, 20,000, in two years i mean i can't thank you guys enough uh, there's a lot more to come again there's a huge announcement i think you guys are going to love coming i think on next either next video or the following video uh, but you guys are going to want to stay tuned for that that's pretty much it guys so i thank each and every one of you for watching if you have any questions comments or concerns please leave them down in the comment box below i'd love to hear how you tune your skimmer what are the best ways, what are the best methods maybe you found that you can share with not only myself, but everyone down there that's reading the comments. I'd love to hear what your thoughts on, are on uh, what I shared today. More importantly, what do you do to get your skimmer to get some really, really good skimming? Thank you very much for watching. As always, happy reefing.